hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today we have the new fifth generation of the Renault Clio on test and I do have the key here uh, you can see this is the classic Renault key it looks funky and you know unusual and yeah this is it so this is the Renault's best seller actually because over 15 million examples of Clios were sold globally and now with this fifth generation we have the new design we have the evolution from outside and real revolution from inside and let's start with one of the most uh, important features of this car which is the fact that it sits on the CMF B platform so this is the new platform uh, more than 85% of the parts are different compared to the predecessor and yeah overall we have really a uh, all new Clio speaking about the design so on the front we have the new lights with the c shape of the daytime i'm running leds this is now well known with the renault models you also have a bigger grill and a huge front logo as you can see here and from this angle you will also notice that uh, these air inlets are real ones and they also have some nice chrome elements in here the name of the color is the red flame and uh, with uh, two amps actually and there are 10 colors available for this car this is the side profile it is four meters and five centimeters long so actually a bit uh, shorter than its predecessor but Renault claims that it has uh, more room inside because uh, you know the more clever usage of you know the whole uh, interior and uh, let me show you the wheels so these are the 16 inch wheels which you get as standard on this trim this is the dimension of the tires we have the continental tires on this particular model base trim would get you the 15 inch steel wheels and then if you go for the rs line which is above this then you have a more sporty look and 17 inch wheels i also need to mention uh, that you have a very cool chrome line here with the clear lettering and you also get the edges of the doors in chrome with this intense trim now this is the rear of the car and here you'll notice the new led lights uh, once again a c shape of the signature i will put the overlay so that you see how that looks uh, we have once again massive badge as well as the clear lettering we do have the real exhaust it's nice to see it so uh, no fancy chrome uh, you know uh, endings but it's better to see this than to see the fake exhaust we also have uh, the sensors as well as the camera the camera is actually here and well yeah since we are here let's open the trunk you can actually hold this and it unlocks and you just need to do this and here we are greeted with 391 liters of space that's really impressive that's actually class leading trunk and uh, yeah it's very practical indeed you also have some hooks here for your shopping bags on both sides we have one light and uh, let me show you this underneath this we have the lpg tank now i'll talk about that later on so this is the lpg version and uh, one thing that i noticed is that uh, when you want to uh, you know open the trunk but without the key what you need to do is uh, go here and press this but uh, the thing is this will often be very dirty from the road so yeah not the uh, best solution i think but then again you have the key so not really a big problem uh, actually you know when you think about it and now you see the lights so very cool signature tell me in your comments what are your thoughts on the design let us now check out the interior and of course we do have the keyless entry so you just approach the car it unlocks and here we are greeted with a very modern interior uh, let's actually start here so this is actually in leather you have some plastic here but uh, this is actually not that bad it is kind of soft uh, here we have of course the classic switches for the windows and the mirrors and the door pocket well pretty decent you can fit a large bottle uh, here and then some additional things on the other side the seats they are uh, from this cloth material and imitation of leather and now let's check it out from driver's perspective and this is the view from driver's perspective as you can see a real revolution from inside when we compare it to its predecessor so first of all you notice the new steering wheel 
as well as the new digital cockpit. There are actually different versions available. This is the seven inch one, looks pretty cool. You can also change uh, some of the things on uh, the left and right side. Then this is the biggest screen available, 9.2 inch one uh, with the navigation. Uh, you can see it's very nice. It's got the 3D shape of the buildings and yeah it all looks pretty nice indeed um, on this trim you would get a smaller seven inch one as standard and this is the optional thing but i would recommend you to go for it uh, because this really looks uh, cool and upgrades the car's interior you know really well then moving on you also have the air vents that look like they are connected with uh, this section here Overall, all looks pretty nice. And I do love the fact that they decided to have some of the buttons as well as this switches for the AC. So let's actually turn on the car. And now you will see that we have the switches here for the blower and then here is for the temperature. So all pretty easy to use. You also have this switch here to adjust uh, you know where you want the air to blow and yeah all looks pretty cool and uh, easy to use definitely a big plus from me moving on we have the wireless charger here as well as the 12 volt power outlet additional cool features uh, that can be useful a ux and usb ports they are both classic usb a ports i would say and on this car we have the five speed manual moving on here to the main bridge uh, you have this uh, roller with adjustable cup holders hidden here electronic parking brake auto hold and then this is the armrest it's a small one pretty basic one and then you have some little uh, storage room here but yeah nothing too special here uh, honestly i would love this to be maybe a bit bigger but hey can have everything the glove box is uh, then very big actually so uh, yeah they do have pretty large room here uh, for various things and now it's time to check out the infotainment system all right and this is it so 9.2 inch one as i already told you and this is the home button and then you can adjust what you want here in front of you when you press this you go to the main menu for example, if you go to navigation, you will see this uh, beautiful 3D shape, which I already told you about. You can go to settings and uh, adjust the routes and stuff like that. You know, some basic things um, for the navigation. And then for the map, you can also adjust. So for example, we can put the night mode on. And uh, well, yeah, let's see it. Looks better now, especially on the camera. Uh, yeah, so I will keep it this way and it is pretty responsive. I actually am surprised Because this looks pretty nice indeed Let's now go back and go back to this main menu and Radio you can have the presets or the list of stations and when you do this this is pretty responsive so quite cool let's go back to the main menu music uh, this car has the standard speakers but you can also opt for the Bose surround system if you want uh, even better sound phone of course you can pair your phone with the apple carplay or android auto as well as the bluetooth so those are the options then the apps uh, i believe you can put some videos or photos here car info uh, various settings of the car such as the tire pressure or the system the software update map update stuff like that let's move on to the settings and this is pretty interesting because here for example for the display you can change the colors and also the cluster style so for example if you change this to green look at this this actually changes to green as well and then you can also adjust the cluster so look at this regular see here comfort this is like the relaxed one and the eco pretty similar to the comfort one and this is the regular and sport probably my favorite would be sport you can then put this to red and let's actually see this uh, you know you see that those parts here as well as here are now red because we changed 
uh, you know the display color but let's change it back to blue I think it's the most relaxing font tell me in your comments what are your thoughts on that and which color would you choose and which view do you like the best and well yeah the other settings here are for the sound for example for the language you would change it right here keyboard date and time so yeah all pretty basic things and then you can edit the home pages here and uh, you know you can put various things I think this is good so the radio station the phone connection and the navigation I mean the things that you really use often you can also set the profile so the guest and then adjust various settings uh, you know whether you want the screen to be you know, in this kind of view or the other view uh, so yeah and now let us go back to this main menu those were the options and you can also see that we do have some of the buttons so here is the button to turn off the start stop system this is the button to go to the eco mode if you want to be even more efficient and those are the hazard lights lock and unlock button and this is the 360 camera view uh, so as you can see this car has bunch of cameras and you have this 360 view which can be very useful especially when you have a lot of cars around you on some you know smaller parking spaces and yeah well definitely a useful feature of this car look at this you can also change the view this can be useful not to destroy the rims when parking and yeah those are the options here but i think this is the best view and speaking about the settings you also have the vehicle settings here for driving assistance systems so look at this you press this you can activate or deactivate the systems itself so the lane assist you can adjust the settings here so the warning in standard and vibration to low uh, let's go back the same goes for the traffic sign recognition you can put it on or off also go back active braking now it is deactivated now it's activated and following distance the vehicle alerts you if the distance to the vehicle ahead of you is too short so those were the safety systems of this car and this is pretty good for a small city car parking assistance uh, you can also you know set parking assistance sound camera adjust the settings of the camera as well and the rear sensors and the front sensors but i advise you to keep those on all the time because yeah well, they are definitely helpful and uh, before we go to the back let me also show you this so uh, this is the uh, button to deactivate or activate the uh, lane keeping assist this is to adjust the brightness of this uh, digital cockpit and then you adjust the lights here and I also need to mention this so look at this LPG because this is the LPG version I'll talk about that in a moment when we will be talking about the available engines for this car but before we do that let me also show you the sun visor LED lights as well as the sun visor for the passenger with the light as well so yeah now it is time to check out the rear bench and before we do that i just want to show you this cool feature so look at this animation of the car when you put on the indicators yeah they also flash on this small digital projection of the car and the entrance to the rear bench goes through this hidden door handle and let's jump inside of course this is a small city car so you can't expect something crazy but it's decent i could manage you know uh, shorter trips here and uh, i will show you now the space for my head okay and it's getting a bit dark now uh, we don't have the led lights at the back but this is the situation i am 1 meter 87 and i have just about right amount of room 
so it's all pretty decent but if you are taller than that there might be problems because this is after all a small city car it is time to check out the engine you need to pull this and this is the switch for the lpg so let me show you the engine as i already told you this is the lpg version which means we have uh, you know the one liter engine that is running on both petrol and lpg but since we don't have the hydraulic struts right now i'll be back with you in a second so one liter tce engine three cylinder and runs on both lpg and petrol let me show you the two tanks that you have here is where you would put the lpg and here is where you would put the classic petrol that also means you have a you know huge range with this car you know a small city car that can run up to 900 kilometers on let's say two tanks but you know with only one stop speaking about other options there are you know classic petrol engines with 90 or 140 horsepower there is an entry level naturally aspirated engine that is producing 65 horsepower there's also a new hybrid so the e-tech is called and that one has 140 horsepower you can also go for that one if you want a uh, you know very efficient car but speaking about diesels they were actually introduced with this car but right now they are not available so uh, like many other manufacturers you know Renault is also ditching the diesels and that's why currently when you go to the configurator you don't have diesels available for this car and that's about it guys thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and also stay tuned for the point of view drive we are now going actually uh, for a drive so stay tuned for that video as well tell me in the comments how do you like this new generation of the Renault Clio 2021 model year and see you on the next video bye bye